Hey guys, today we're talking about another monster from Trevor Henderson creation. The Highway Worm. Yes, the name rings a bell. The Bridge Worm. There is no similarity between Highway Worm and Bridge Worm, other than the fact that they're both huge worms. And they're monsters. And they eat humans and they're seen on highways. Well, highway worm is unique in his own way. The highway worm is a large, very large worm, which has a huge snake-like body. So he's also called the giant worm. He's so huge that a car might look like a toy in front of him. It does not have arms or legs. He's a plain worm. He has two sparkling eyes, which is visible even from a far distance. Mostly his eyes are mistaken to be street lights. This is because his body is dark and he comes out only at nights. And he stays very immobile before an attack. At a close glance, we can see that his skin color is a mix of gray and dark yellow. It looks almost black at night times. The skin has a bumpy and uneven texture to it. It's close to disgusting. It might feel like leather. Basically, his skin looks like a deformed snake skin. He is, in total, 18 to 20 feet long. The long body ends with a long, snake-like tail. Highway worm is always seen before the sunset and after dawn. There are many highway worms out there. A highway worm which was spotted recently was in Texas, United States. Similar incidents are reported at different parts of the world, like Florida, many cities in Europe, and in Tokyo. A highway worm normally hides in areas nearby a highway, generally in areas where there's not much traffic or people. So these two sides of the highway would be normally woods and animals. The highway worm will hide behind large trees or bushes, practically invisible to human eyes. His aim is to attack the next vehicle coming through and eat the humans inside. The highway worm is very intelligent. He will not attack a car or truck with more than one person in it because he knows that the chances of someone escaping is high in such a case and they can call for help or harm the worm using a gun or something. So he waits for a lone driver. Once he spots his victim, the highway worm will jump out of nowhere and break into the side window of the car with his face. The vehicle will lose its track and will get stuck in the worm's head. The human body inside must be dead by now. If he's not dead, he must be injured due to the heavy blow from the worm. Most of the times, the human will be incapable to resist or escape after the accident. Then the worm will bite the human out of the car and take him away into the woods. There, he will eat the human. If he's hungry, the highway worm will continue the process. He eats for his survival, and he does not care if it's a human or an animal. The highway worm can eat rodents, animals, birds, humans, anything. He just needs food for his hunger. It was in 2015 that we found the first highway worm. He was accidentally caught in tape during a news reporting inside a forest. Till then, we had no idea. His existence was hidden because all of his attacks were perceived as highway accidents. And the bodies assumed to be taken by some wild animals. Because of those accidents happened near dense forests. And it's very common, so people were buying it. And of course, no one could ever think that there's a monster who creates accidents and takes away dead bodies. His attack normally looks like an accident, 
and the body's not recovered because some animal would have taken it. When he was caught on camera, the police officials could finally connect the dots and understood what's happening. So where's he from? What's the origin of highway worms? The most famous theory about the highway worm's origin is that he's formed naturally. Researchers claim that they have proof for the fact that these worms are formed due to some unprecedented mutation of some existing, normally large worms. The abnormal weather changes and climatic calamities has attributed to that kind of mutation. The mutated worms had happened to be so huge that they're actually a threat to the human species. The highway worms is one species which has the capacity to eat and finish all the humans on this earth. This is also because of the fact they have a peculiar reproduction process. The highway worms does not have to mate to create offspring. Then how do they do it? Once in every two and a half years, a highway worm can produce large amounts of spores. Spores are single-celled reproductive units of an organism. It will grow itself to become a full-grown adult. The highway worm spores are released in a million numbers. They travel through wind to long distances. That's how they're growing up everywhere in the world. The spores just need a moist place for the first few weeks, and then they'll reach a worm form. Once they're tiny worms, they'll survive like any other worm, eating grass. Within a few months, they'll start to become bigger and bigger. Slowly, they'll start eating other worms and insects. Then they'll move to snakes, birds, and even sheep. And then there will be a rapid growth. Within six months, a full-grown highway worm is formed, and they'll start living on humans. They can also feast on other big animals, like an elephant. But humans are available everywhere, you see. And one human will keep them full for a day. Highway worms are definitely a larger threat than any other monster today. They have a natural existence here. Earth is their natural habitat. So it's easy for them to survive here. Killing them's not rocket science. He can be shot or blasted down with a bomb, or any weapon can do the job. However, the issue is their rapid growth as a species. We have to find a way to stop their reproduction. Otherwise, soon, this planet is going to be dominated by worms.